Welcome back to The Factor on Censored. It's been 30 years since a siege at a cult leader's compound. We all remember this, David Koresh and Waco. It ended in a deadly fire. 76 people killed, including leader David Koresh. Prominent Houston criminal defense attorney Dan Cogdale, who's been here on The Factor before, ended up representing one of the survivors. The tragedy of the case remains seared in Texas history. And the story is also being told in a new series coming to show time called Waco the Aftermath. Cogdale joins us now from New York City. So when you realized that uh, you were going to be immortalized in a Showtime TV series, what were your thoughts about that? You know, it's 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 interesting. I guess uh, I, I guess my initial thought was, you know, great. After 40 years of practicing law, I'm going to be an overnight sensation. I mean, one day. <laughs> and so did you play an intimate role in um, making sure you were accurately portrayed in this TV show? I, I, I was not given that opportunity. I had read the script. Uh, and it's, you know, it's about 80% factually accurate. They take their usual, you know, uh, artistic liberties, but, but, uh, I, I think they did a good job and I, and I did have the pleasure of watching Giov Giovanni Ribisi who plays me, uh, shoot a couple of days. And it, that was a little strange seeing somebody else play you. I never thought anybody else would, would ever want to be me, much less get paid to be me, but it was it, it, and what kind of job do you think he did after seeing the finished product? You know, from what I haven't seen the finished product. The, the, the premiere is here tonight. It's five episodes, Isaiah, and I've not seen uh, any of them. So I, I don't know. I think he'll do a great job. He's a, he's a terrific actor uh, and was, was wonderful to work with. Uh, so uh, I guess time will tell, but I, I'm confident he did a great job. Now, when you took on this role, not role in the TV show, but in real life, did you realize you would be a part of history dealing with Waco? No, I mean, I knew it was a significant case at the time, certainly, but, you know, after working with, with Racehorse Haynes for, for many years, a high profile case was, I, won't, I don't want to say just another case because no, nothing's just another case to your client, but I didn't really think that far ahead. My job was to represent my client to the best, uh, to the best my ability would allow. And I really wasn't focused on the future. I was focused on what was going to happen in the courtroom. Now, take us back to Waco. What role specifically did you play as a defense attorney then? Sure. I represented, I volunteered my time, as did, frankly, all of us in that trial. I volunteered my time. My client was uh, a fellow by the name of Clive Doyle. There were 11 charged uh, with various offenses. Three, including my client, Clive, were acquitted of all charges. But I was I was lawyer for Clive Doyle. And in your role as attorney, uh, were you at all amazed by what went on with David Koresh, Waco, the FBI, and the final outcome, the tragic outcome of that case? I mean, that's let me unpack that a little bit. When when, when I was first called to represent Clive by, by Dick DeGaron, I didn't want anything to do with it because I believe the, the mainstream media's, you know, sort of report that these were a cult and these were outliers and these were freaks and blah, blah, blah. Uh, when when the fire happened uh, and and the Clive survived, I went at, at DeGaron's request and met, went and met with him. And I, I became pretty quickly convinced that whatever Clive's religious beliefs were, and they were certainly different than mine, they were his sincere beliefs. And uh, he was he was not guilty of anything. And so I volunteered my time. I was completely outraged at what the government did. I still am outraged at what the government did. It was one of the most dark chapters in law in law enforcement history as far as as far as I'm concerned. I thought what they did was an outrage. Regardless of what you think about Koresh, the government had no job or no, you know, no, nothing allowed them to, to, to use the excessive force and engage in the misconduct that they did. Well, Dan, you are um, in New York for the premiere. Will you get a chance to walk down the red carpet? Are you, are you excited about that? I'm I'm interested. Uh, I mean, wait, I, wait, wait, wait. You're interested? <laughs> well, I mean, look, it's 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 the series is not about me. 
it's it's about uh, the role of, of a lot of folks trying me what what after it. So it, it, I don't take it as my own personal party. I mean, as a complete aside, Isaiah, I cut such a great uh, a great economic deal that this series could easily make me a multi thousandaire again. I mean, I'm, I'm really <laughs> hoping to, to get there. But uh, I'm interested to see the final product and, and, and see how it goes. All right. Dan Cogdale, attorney here in Houston. And we will see him portrayed by Giovanni Ribisi in the Showtime series, The Waco, which premieres this Friday. We want to thank you for your time and enjoy your time in New York, sir.